Greetings, fellow scribes! Welcome back to the Archive! This week, I continue my series on the factions of Starfleet Battles by talking about the last of the original major factions, the Gorn. Now, on the ground, we all know how you fight the Gorn. First, you take a log. Stuff coal, sulfur, and nitrate into the back of it. Then load it with gemstones. And then light all that stuff you stuffed in the back end of the log. It'll blow up because you just made gunpowder. And you've just turned that log into a cannon. And so you've just fired essentially gem grape shot at that Gorn. Just ask the first human captain to encounter the Gorn. But, fighting the Gorn in space, they're a little different. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as I talk about what Gorn ships are like. So, what defines the Gorn spaceships? What philosophy can you immediately see looking at them? Understand, this is going by the five ships that they gave us in the Captain's Box. Captain's Basic Set. So, the first thing you notice with all of the Gorn ships is they have wings. Their assembly is, it's a round front section, sort of like a saucer section, but not as large as the Federation's, a main body, and then off that main body, two wings towards the front, two warp engines in the back. The battle cruiser adds a second disc section to the body. Now, the battle cruiser is sort of interesting when you compare it to other Federation ships. When you compare it to Federation ships or Klingon ships. So the first thing is its warp engines. Federation Klingon, their standard warp engines for the battle cruiser and battle cruiser sized ships. Well, okay, the standard warp engine for the Federation in general, because they're all the same warp nacelle, is 15 power. The warp engines on a Gorn battlecruiser are 16 power each. One extra power. So, that means it starts off with 32 power from its warp engines. Now, it has 2 power worth of energy coming from its anti-proton reactors. But, it has 2 anti-proton reactors. One in the rear disc section. One in the bow disc section. So, at this point, we're looking at 34 power. And then it's got two sets of two power each impulse engines. This produces a grand total of four power, so it's at 38 power. This is less than a, con than a heavy cruiser, a Federation heavy cruiser, or a Klingon D7. And, well, let's be quite honest. The D7 has better shields. So, what does the Gorn ship have going for it? The, this particular Gorn ship have going for it? Well, first off, it has three hull sections. Forward hull, center hull, rear hull. With their own hit charts. But, what it also has going for it is it has 
four plasma torpedoes. Uh, they fire... One fires right around the front side. One fires left around the front side. Then there's one torpedo that fires in a 180 degree arc from bow to stern on the right side. And one fires 180 degrees bow to stern on the left side. Now, it also has two right side phaser ones, two left side phaser ones, two forward arc phaser ones, two rear firing phaser ones, and then, oh yeah, has a pair, has a, a left side firing phaser three, and a right side firing phaser three. But, there's something it has going for it. It actually has rear firing weapons. And not defensive rear firing weapons. And then you start looking at the other Gorn ships. And you start realizing something. Yes, they have a lot of fire forward. But like the Gorn Light Cruiser, it has four plasma torpedoes. It has one, two, three, four, four phaser ones covering a forward arc. It has two Phaser 3s as a defensive. It doesn't quite have the extra rear gun. But when you start looking at their destroyers, you'll see fa three Phaser 1s on their normal destroyer. A plasma torpedo, which destroyers usually don't have torpedoes in the other factions. And then there's their, there is their fleet destroyer, which has a, yeah, it has a rear firing plasma torpedo as well as two forward-firing plasma torpedoes, three forward-firing phaser ones, and the side-arc-firing side phaser threes. And this is what sets the Gorn out. They don't have a lot of guns, per se. I mean, they don't have as much as the Klingons, but their guns do something different. See, their stuff that fires rearward doesn't fire straight rear. It fires through the arc behind them rear. What this means is Gorn ships are dangerous whichever way you come at them from. In fact, you can choose to cut power to save on firing on one side's weapons if you're planning to only bring the other side to bear. So if you, say, lose a warp engine, they're still able to manipulate their fire so that they're bringing a side to bear. Oh, look, the shields on this side are getting low. We're going we're gonna to bring around the other side. Because they're basically broadside firing ships. That's the only way to describe it. And that is 
different in Star Trek. It kind of get, gives me the image in my mind of a Gorn battle cruiser flying between two Federation heavy cruisers, firing full broadsides into each one. It probably won't be able to do that for a long, but it could do it. And that is the Gorn. Next week, I'm going to do a combined video on the last two factions presented in the Captain's Box set. And this is because they don't have a lot of ships. So I'm going to be talking about them just from the perspective of what you see in a quick glance of these unique ships. So next week, I'm going to be talking about the Tholians and the Orions. So until then, I'd like you all to remember to have fun and keep gaming. <laughs>